First here tonight at 11, the Ohio governor's race is shaping up as one of the closest in the nation tomorrow night. Mike DeWine and Richard Cordray were both out tonight looking for the last minute votes that could make the difference. News reporter Kristen Escow has our top story here on your local election headquarters. Republican Mike DeWine and his running mate John Houston hosted a rally here at Young's Jersey Dairy that lasted a little over an hour and it was a packed house. Meanwhile, Democrat Richard Cordray and his running mate Betty Sutton hosted a rally in downtown Dayton. You have two people from the, who have deep, deep roots in the Miami Valley. Republican Mike DeWine comes home to Yellow Springs the night before Election Day for a rally alongside running mate John Houston, Congressman Mike Turner, and Senator Rob Portman. John Houston and I will make sure that in this state we have a good climate for small business, that we have a climate so that people can start their own business and they can grow that business. DeWine talks several issues, including the opioid crisis and his record taking on the drug companies. And what they were doing was wrong, and what they did is wrong, and they've wrecked havoc all over the state of Ohio. Betty Sutton and I will step into the future of this state, and Mike DeWine will take us backward. Meanwhile, Democrat Richard Cordray and his running mate Betty Sutton rallied supporters at the Montgomery County Democratic Party headquarters. Cordray also addressed several issues, including taxes and the economy. We need to restore our money to our communities and get it back from Columbus. Cordray also spoke about his plan on health care, which he says has been a big topic on voters' minds throughout the campaign. Bring down costs in the health care system, reduce the cost of prescription drugs, rein in the greedy middlemen in the system. And the race remains very close. A recent poll from the firm Signal shows DeWine leading Cordray by less than 1%. In Yellow Springs, Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.